Hey everyone, Zach Hample here in Miami for the second straight day outside of Lone Depot Park. Look at this place. I can never get over just how weird and interesting it is. Anyway, there is something special in the works for today. I'm friends with one of the players on the Marlins, Richard Blyer, and he is hooking up special passes for BP where I think I'm actually gonna get down on the field. And so I am here, if you see this weirdo lurking in the background, hello. That is Chris, my video guy, so he'll be doing most of the filming from here on out. Um, he and I have a little bet going. He thinks that I'm going to get exactly one baseball from the Marlins while we're on the field. I'm saying that I'm gonna get four. So if either of us nails it, the other person has to do more of the driving tonight after the game to Tampa. So we'll see how that goes. Padres are here, hopefully they're hitting. It's a 4, 10 p.m. game, so kind of a weird time. But um, it's very hot out here, so let's get on inside to that air conditioning. All right, where to? Down right there, to the Club oh, perfect. Yep. Thanks a lot. By the way, our uh, our bet doesn't count if Blyer throws you exactly four balls. I don't know who you're texting right there. You got to play by the rules, buddy. Who am I texting? I'm looking up the Marlins coaching staff. Wouldn't it be weird if so I can identify yeah. these guys in the background because they are definitely going to throw me this ball, hundred percent. I was wrong. I'm still at zero. Yes. Oh, so you're rooting against me now? No, I want one ball, baby. One ball. Wow. I can take a nice nap on the way to Tampa. I think here comes Richard Blyer to say hello and maybe give me a baseball. Uh-oh, Chris. You nervous? Just one. Yes. Oh. a boy, Richie. Going? So, I want to tell Richard about the bet. Basically, Chris said that I would only get one baseball here during Marlins batting practice. I said that I'm going to get four. And whoever, if either of us gets it right, the other has to do more of the driving on the way to Tampa. <laughs> but he said that you are not allowed to give me exactly four balls. <laughs> what if you get five or two? Then it just neutralizes. So it's either one or four. It's got to be exactly Done. one or four. What's your prediction? Um, I don't know. One sounds light, four sounds a little high. I'm thinking two or three. We'll see. Pick it one. On, it depends on how hard you work for it, too. Pick pick a number, and then if you win, then what? I'll drive the Tampa for you guys. Oh! Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. I'll go with three. I'll go with three. It's an optional BP today. So not there might not be that many people hitting, so it might be just one. I don't know how many people are actually hitting because it's a four o'clock game. Yeah. The Padres, like, the Padres aren't. The Padres are not hitting. No, they, they canceled their. Chris, Chris is in the background going like this. <laughs> I can't believe I'm paying this guy to root against me. Or he's just rooting for himself. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm rooting for a nap on the way to Tampa. Now, are we able to play catch here? I don't have a ball. Uh-oh, is he going to get me on the board? Uh-oh. <laughs> that nice and brand new. I guess if you let me keep it. You said it doesn't count if I give it to you. 
Well, that's true. You got to get it on your own, as if you didn't have a hookup. This guy's making up rules on the spot. Driving driving. So, uh, yeah. It's hard to hold. You want this back? Oh, he said I can keep it. So, but I count this for me. But Chris is not counting this for the bet. Correct. All right. Yes. Yeah. Got my work in. Field on the Yankees, Ricky Henderson, Don Mattingly. I mean, those were my dudes as much as Daryl Strawberry, Gary Carter, Keith Hernandez. So even when I was little, I liked players regardless of what team they were on. So, wow, to have a, a moment to chat with him is uh, it's pretty special. That's better than all the baseballs I could possibly catch today. <laughs> Perfect. Well, no, no, I won't stop it, but if he wants it back, I will give it to him. Sure, sure. Okay. So you're not playing goalie here? Yes. All right, all right. Sorry, Chris. I didn't pay other Chris off. They bring a, they bring a mess of kids out here, though. You're going to be fighting for balls, I can tell you that. Because they like to give them I, to the kids. I can't compete with that, and definitely no fighting. Avi, what's up? Zach, I don't know, I think this guy is pro you driving. I think you're right. Eric, any chance for a baseball? Oh, thanks a lot. Uh-oh. Appreciate it. First one. All right, so that's two for me, but Chris only counts it as one. One, one, yeah, we don't count Richard. All right, so stop, give me your glove. Remember Tanner Scott from Cincinnati? I didn't so, give you enough. You gave him five that day. Yeah, Richard. But he won the competition. It's not fair. You can't do that, bro. You want to try to beat him today? Oh, no. No. Good to see you again. Tanner Scott. He didn't give you a baseball. That's he weird. He didn't give me a baseball. That's strange. I told him that Richard threw me one, and did he want to try to beat that because he and Richard were having a competition in BP in Cincinnati to throw me the most. And for a while, that one day, Tanner was winning five to four, but then Richard went on a run and threw me five balls. So I'll link to that video in the description for this one. Seriously funny stuff. And I gotta try to get a ball from the coaches here. I, I don't wanna be doing that extra drive into Tampa. I gotta go through the video footage from today to get this video out. Chris, you should be doing all the driving. The people need it. Okie dokie. 
Let's see. Okay, right here. I'm going to get this. Al Pedrique. Oh, I doubt it. Hmm. Pedrique, any chance you could toss one up, please? Hey, thanks a lot. Shit. Let's go to the other side, and apologies to everybody here in Miami, but I'm gonna throw on the Padres hat, because um, I think there's nothing else happening on this side, so let's go. Josh Bell right there, that's a pretty good one to get. I found several tickets yesterday, so... I'll get these signed if possible. I should have asked Mattingly to sign one, that was dumb, but... Glad to have this one. Well, how about that? An unexpected baseball tossed from the dugout, my fourth of the day, from the visiting team bat boy named Jason. And unfortunately, that concluded my time on the field. And I think even though I got four baseballs, Fenway Chris behind the camera, you're not counting it as four? No, Richard doesn't count. That could have been a plant. Unreal. So I guess we're doing an even number of driving tonight to Tampa. Half and half-ish. I guess that's fair. And so right now, while there's basically nothing happening on the field, I want to give a quick shout out to my friends over at SeatGeek! SeatGeek! Because they are sponsoring this video. Now, here's how it all works. SeatGeek has given me a link that I can pass along to you guys, and you can use it to save a ton of money when you buy tickets. And I'll explain how it works in just a bit, but first, for those of you who somehow still don't know what SeatGeek is, it's an app that gathers tickets from all over the internet into one spot to make it so easy to buy them. And you can see up here on the screen what it looks like when you actually use it. Now, when you pull up the seating chart and you see all those colorful dots, the ones you want to look for are the green ones because those indicate the best deals. The red ones, mm, not so much. And also, SeatGeek rates every ticket from zero to 10 so you can tell right away just how good of a deal you're getting. And it gets even better. SeatGeek has a buyer guarantee so you can shop with confidence. Now, about saving the money, and this works whether or not you have used the SeatGeek app before, okay? Check the description for this video. You're gonna find a link there, and then all you gotta do when you click it is sign in or sign up, and the savings will be applied automatically to your account, 10% off any order on SeatGeek. So again, click the link, in the description to get those savings, 10%. If you don't, I'm gonna be very disappointed because it's money just sitting right there waiting for you guys to save it, all right? Now, if you are not going to a baseball game, it's okay. If you're not going to see the Marlins, it's okay because SeatGeek operates in all kinds of venues, different events, concerts, festivals, any kind of show. Anytime you're buying a ticket, check out SeatGeek first. And as far as like Marlins tickets, you might be wondering like, why should I use SeatGeek when there's like 6,000 fans per game? Because you can still find good deals there, okay guys? Anyway, now you know.
huge thumbs up to the Padres for being very friendly today and signing autographs for a whole bunch of people. And the nice thing about the protective netting in this stadium is that you can reach items underneath so that the players can get them. And I got four autographs on three tickets that I found yesterday. On top we have Josh Bell, in the middle Nick Martinez, and on the bottom Luis Garcia and Josh Hader, newly acquired from the Brewers. And I gotta get these guys in the video because this dude on the end, Howie, he and I met a long, long time ago. Tell the people when it was. 29 years ago, Camp Manitou in Toronto, Ontario. Well, I, don't, I think it was McKellar, Ontario. Not actually in Toronto, but yes, 1993 we met. How old were you in 1993? He wasn't even born yet, my little son. I guess not. So, Mason right here. Show the people the baseballs. He's on the board, I'm on the board. Your brother Avery couldn't make it today, but Avery, we love you, we're thinking of you. And by the way, at that baseball camp in Canada, the head coach there, tell everybody. He was the head coach for Manny Ramirez in high school. Yeah, at George Washington High in Washington Heights in New York City. So. This coach, he was saying when Manny was in high school, this guy's gonna be a future first round draft pick, a future all-star, a future Hall of Famer. And Howie and I were like, okay coach, take it easy. But I mean, he was right. Coach Mandel, one of the smartest baseball people I've ever known. And uh, yeah, again, Good great time. to see you guys. They live down here in Florida, so I was looking forward to seeing them. fans here on this weekday afternoon and that's probably a good thing as far as Pablo Lopez is concerned. Jake Cronenworth launched a grand slam off him in the top of the first and the Padres tacked on another run after that. And as for me, I decided to change things up today and go for foul balls behind the plate. And I had a close call on the bottom of the first. It landed one section to my left and then took a big ricochet off the seat, but I just could not get there. And so right now we're in the second inning. I am really feeling it, you guys. There's so much room here. Clevenger, the Padres starter, he's got a great ground ball to fly ball ratio that should produce lots of foul balls flying over the screen. So Fenway Chris behind the camera, get ready for it. And also, everybody, I'm sure you've seen my shirt. I just gotta show it to you officially. This thing, if you like it, throw me the ball please. You can get one on my website, sackhample.com slash merch. I'll show you the back. Let's see the back. Thank you. Because it's important to be polite, and I'm talking fast because there's a lefty up now. His AB is almost done. I'm going to get ready for the righty. Did I call that or did I call that Charles LeBlanc or I don't know he's from Quebec so Charles LeBlanc I don't know but that's who hit the foul ball and it was a uh, section down there you saw it it grabbed it handed it off so that is my fifth total baseball of the day and I still think I'm gonna get another one so right now bottom of the second and the Padres are up five to one
as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by the music. That is the kind of reception that I like to get after catching a foul ball. And that one was also hit by Charles LeBlanc. And that is how to pronounce his name. I heard him being announced. So two foul balls during the game, four before the game, so six total. And right now, it is the bottom of the fifth. The Padres are up six to two. And my dude, Richard Blyer, is now pitching. So this day just keeps getting better and better. sixth inning Padres are up six to three and Blyer is back out there on the mound I love to see it and I don't really love to see crappy protein bars but that's what I got today Richard Blyer has thrown a scoreless inning to this point, but they just took him out with two outs and the bases loaded. So he's responsible for all those runs. I am rooting so hard for the new pitcher, Cole Sulcer, right now. I don't want those runs getting charged to Blyer. to the late innings. I tried to make something happen for myself by moving over to the third base side whenever lefties came to bat, but luck was just not with me. And as for the Marlins, well, if not for the first inning, and also if not for the ninth inning, they would have won this game. Yeah, the Padres piled on in the final frame to blow this thing wide open. And not surprisingly, a bunch of fans left after that, and there were so many empty seats. But that was pretty much it. The Marlins could not get anything going in the bottom of the nine and man they have a lot of work to do to turn things around here in Miami and you know what forget about Jake Cronenworth as far as I'm concerned the MVP of today's game was Richard Blyer because he was nice to me and he pitched a scoreless inning and that's all that matters but really final score today Padres 10 Marlins 3 and as for me and all the balls that I snagged six total four before the game thanks to Blyer and the access that he gave me on the field for the Marlins batting practice and then two foul balls during the game. But including the ones that I gave away, they all count for the lifetime total. So that number is 11,970. So only 30 more to reach 12,000. Now we got to go. We are driving. Actually, Chris is driving, right, to Tampa? Absolutely, yeah, the whole way. I think he's joking. Uh, I wish. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Check the description. Pick up one of these shirts, zachhample.com slash merch. Look for the link there for SeatGeek and save some money on your tickets. And yeah, that's it. We're out. Bye. Well, this traffic blows, but hey, we're almost there. Yeah, why am I still driving anyways? Thanks, bud. <laughs> I did get four baseballs on the warning track.